hello everyone today we are going to do a very important problem on friction let us see this problem here the problem states that there are two blocks each of weight w1 and w2 which is resting on a rough inclined plane here the inclined plane is a rough surface so rough surface indicates that there is a frictional force and these two particular blocks actually they are connected by a short piece of string as it is shown in the figure here the figure is given to you now this is your weight w1 and w2 and in the question it has been said that we have to assume the weight w1 and w2 are equal and it is the weight is 22.25 newton then the coefficient of friction for w1 is 0.2 and the coefficient of friction for w2 is 0.3 so in the question is saying find out what is the angle of inclination of the plane for which the sliding will impend so sliding will impend indicates that the sliding is about to take place clear yeah. now let us try to understand now this particular body it will have a tendency to move in which direction so the tendency to move these two bodies will tend to move in the direction which i have shown so these two bodies will tend to move down the plane tendency to move down the plane so here let us try to find out the value of this angle of uh, value of alpha that is the angle of inclination of the inclined plane for which this particular sliding will impend here yeah, so let us start solving it now here the data that is given to you clear yeah. so the data given is the weight of the two bodies are given that is 22.25 newton then mu1 is uh, given to you in the question 0.2 and mu2 is as 0.3 so to find out what you have to find out as per the question he said to find out what is the angle of inclination of the plane where these two bodies will have will slide where there is a sliding will impend that means these two bodies will have the tendency to move down the plane so to find out alpha so the first thing that you have to do is Now here the number of bodies here are two bodies here yeah. so you have to draw the free body diagram first so let us draw the free body diagram free body diagram of w1 first then when we draw the free body diagram and you know free body diagram means it is a diagram of a body free from support so here let us draw the free body diagram first now this indicates the first body where you can see here this particular first body is connected with the second body with the help of a string and all of you know the string will have a tensile force clear so let us take the tensile force let us indicate it as t T is the tensile force which is there on the string. It's a pull force. So for this particular body W1, for W1, okay, the tensile force will be in this particular direction. So the weight of the body, you know, always it acts in the vertically downward direction. Whatever may be the position of the body, the weight always acts in the vertically downward direction. And this angle is given as alpha. Now, in order to show all the forces in this particular vertical diagram i'll take the help of a vertical 
plane and this is a this is a horizontal plane okay so as all of you know if this particular angle is alpha so this angle is alpha okay and this this particular body is having a tendency to move down the plane to move down the plane so the frictional force will be up the plane so the frictional force will take it as f1 which is nothing but mu1 r1 because this is for weight w1 so that particular designation of frictional force i have taken is f1 mu1 is already given to you and r1 is the normal reaction now let us find the reaction of this body you know reaction is perpendicular to the contact surface this is perpendicular to the contact surface how to find the direction of the reaction is a very simple uh, trick you have to remember the direction of the reaction is opposite to the direction in which the body cannot move this body cannot move in this direction so the reaction force will be opposite so this is your r1 okay so as we have taken this as as your horizontal and this as your vertical so this w1 let us resolve into two components so this becomes as w1 cos alpha and this as w1 sin alpha okay so all the forces we have shown in the free body diagram of w1 okay now let us draw the free body diagram of w2 clear now free body diagram of w2 again it is a diagram of a body free from supports clear so the weight acts in the vertically downward direction this angle is alpha now this i am drawing here as the horizontal plane and this as the vertical plane now here this body is also this body is also moving w2 body is this let us see the main diagram this body is also actually moving down the plane it is having a tendency to move the, down the plane clear so please see for this particular body this will be the tensile force which is acting on the string and when you consider the body w2 this is the direction of the tensile force when for w2 got it so don't confuse clear then again the frictional force will be opposite to the direction of motion this body is trying to move in down the direction so frictional force will be opposite up the plane so let us draw the free body diagram of w2 now here this angle is alpha this is your tensile force as already explained you for the second body and this will be the frictional force but here the frictional force will be f2 so f2 is equal to you know mu2 r2 and this is a normal reaction as i discussed the same thing for the first free body diagram now you resolve the components so this will be w2 cos alpha and the horizontal component will be w2 sin alpha okay so these are the two free body diagrams of the first body and the second body got it now let us consider the free body diagram of w2 first okay so resolving the forces vertically you can take vertically or horizontally first so when you resolve the forces vertically vertically how many forces are there 
R2 and W2 cos alpha. So when you you can write it as R2 is equal to W2 cos alpha. Take this as equation one. The second thing is resolving the forces horizontally. So in horizontally you see the number of forces are three. One is the frictional force, the other is opposite side is the tensile force and the horizontal component of the weight W2. That is the W2 sin alpha. Okay. So here I can write it as mu2 r2 is equal to T plus W2 sin alpha. Okay. So what you do here is you substitute the value of R2 here. Okay. So mu2 R2 is how much? W2 cos alpha that is equation 1 is equal to T plus W2 sin alpha. So we write T is equal to mu2 w2 cos alpha minus w2 sin alpha. So why we are finding T because for both the bodies this is the only force tensile force which is equal in both because it is a single string which is connecting the two bodies. So T is equal to W2 taking common, it is uh, mu2 cos alpha minus sin alpha. Okay, so that is this is as equation 2. Clear? Now let us try to solve. So this is the equation for T while you consider the free body diagram. When, uh, when you resolve the forces and uh, or vertically and when resolve the forces horizontally and this is for the weight W2 you get T is equal to W2 mu2 cos alpha minus sin alpha. So this we take it as 2. Now let us consider the free body diagram of W1. Now the same thing resolve the forces vertically and vertically you can see over here there are two forces one is your R1 in upward direction and W1 cos alpha in downward direction so you can write R1 is equal to W1 cos alpha so this is equation 3 then go to the next that is resolve the forces horizontally now here in horizontally you can find over here there are three forces here one is your tensile force the frictional force which is acting in the right side and the other one is the horizontal component of w1 that is w1 sin alpha which is there in the left hand side direction so you can write as t plus mu1 r1 is equal to w1 sin alpha. So here t plus mu1. What is r1 here? In equation 3 r1 is w1 cos alpha is equal to w1 sin alpha. So we are more interested in t because equation 2 also we have a three body diagram 
the final equation was in in terms we have found found out what is t it was in terms of w2 alpha and mu2 so here also t t is equal to w1 taking common sin alpha minus mu1 cos alpha okay so this is equation 4 now these are the two equations you can see one is equation 2 and the other is equation 4 so these two equations okay you have to equate so equating equation 2 and 4 okay equating equation 2 and 4 so let us equate here so equation 2 and equation 4 let us equate so equation 2 is what w2 mu2 cos alpha minus sin alpha is equal to so what is equation 4 w1 sin alpha minus mu1 cos alpha okay so you know it is given it was given in the question w1 is equal to w2 is equal to how much 22.25 newton so instead of substituting this value of w1 and w2 as they are equal so these two get cancelled so you have mu2 cos alpha minus sin alpha is equal to sin alpha minus mu1 cos alpha so we are here to find out what is alpha so sin alpha this goes to the other side sin alpha plus sin alpha it is 2 sin alpha is equal to cos alpha taking common okay so it will be mu2 plus mu1 okay so this sin alpha goes to the other side it is 2 sin alpha this comes to this side mu2 taking common sorry cos alpha taking common so this becomes positive so mu2 plus mu1 clear so you have the values of mu2 and mu1 so what we do is here sin alpha by cos alpha mu2 plus mu1 divided by 2 okay so sin alpha by cos alpha is tan alpha okay mu2 value is given as 0 0.3 in the question mu1 is 0 0.2 divided by 2 okay so how much it is it is 0 0.5 by 2 clear yes. so alpha is equal to tan inverse 0 0.5 by 2 so let us calculate you can see here so while putting the values first check in the calculator whether it is in which mode degree mode or radiance mode so be careful so tan inverse 0 0.5 divided by 2 so what is the value you got 
you got it as 14.0 round it up 14.05 degree okay so the angle of inclination of the plane for which this particular sliding of the two bodies will impinge is 14 alpha is how much 14.04 so this is how you solve this this particular kind of problem I hope you have understood this particular problem. Yes. So we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.